is what it is friday january 20th and it is raining let me see yes oh it's raining oh darn i thought i could get away with just wearing my sandals but i'm gonna have to put on my tennis shoes but um i know that two days ago uh maybe three by the time you watch this i put up my weight in number 12 and um, it seems like, whoa, you just did a weigh-in. But I genuinely did film that that day on January 6th, that first week that I came back. I just hadn't put the video up, and I'm sorry. But I want to weigh myself because it's been two weeks, and I want to try the bi-weekly thing. So here it is, January 22 weeks later. Virtually, you know, just fast forward. It's 2017. We can do stuff like that, right? Right? Mom, Yes. it's a good thing it's Friday. I'm I know. All right, I'm going to weigh myself. You guys know the drill? I here it is. Two more students and then my Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay. Let me step on this. You are 3232.22. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, From 330. That's way too much math. That's like eight pounds. Oh my God. I need to do the math. Um, 330 minus, yeah, like eight pounds. Eight pounds in two weeks. That's a, I think that's probably the largest number. Of you pounds know. lost that I've um, that I've ever, ever lost. <laughs> yeah, that's like the largest number. But I think honestly, uh, this week I have been going to the gym consistently since Sunday, and it is Friday now, and I still plan on going today. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Y'all know that I struggled so much last year. Um, baby, can you give me some socks? Um, Y'all know that I struggled so much last year with like just trying to be active, um, but in 2006, I really, um, 16, I focused on my eating habits, and um, and that's okay. I mean, ideally, is it best to just like, you know, start with eating habits and working out? Yes, you're probably going to get faster results than what I have. You know, I probably could have lost a lot more weight in 2016, but I don't want to dwell on that. Um, I made it is some progress and to me that's important that I made that progress a lot of it had to do up here that kind of progress where I had to mentally overcome whether it's the fear or anxiety or whatever it is of losing weight um just kind of get my mind ready so I feel so much better and I only took a break from working out on Saturday I didn't go to the gym on Saturday but before that I think I went three times last week so it's like every week I've been increasing and the only reason I missed the beginning of the week is because I got some um my dental thing done so you had your, I think it was your crown was it I had my root canal done and a temporary crown but I'll be getting my crown um sometime next week so yeah oh my gosh eight pounds that's insane I'm so happy. Oh, and by the way, it's also a new record. The lowest number um, um, that I've been on a scale, the lowest um, that I've weighed at was 324. So I'm officially out of 324, down to 323, and only three pounds, four pounds technically, away from getting out of the 320s. And that much closer to getting out of the 300s. So yay for me! Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you on and see what I get into for the rest of the day. And I just want to say that if you're doing this or whatever it is that you're working on, um, even if it's not related anything to weight loss, um, I hope that you continue to strive at it and just focus on what you're doing for yourself. Um, yes, share with the community and yes, but ultimately I'm not here to judge you and how you do things. Um, so long as they're still decently healthy. Um, we definitely don't want to get healthy unhealthy, if that makes sense. Um, so no drugs to lose weight, no all kinds of insanity to do all of that. But nonetheless, um, just keep at it. We've got this. We can do this together. And um, yeah, to many more celebrations and achievements. Bye. the craziness that my favorite person in the whole wide world is she came to make her walk and absolutely brought everything with her what you bring with you okay so i have my cutting board my knife <laughs> she brought a knife with her like i don't own any knives my, my savoyas <laughs> okay well you know my cilantro and then my my avocados your avocados where'd you get your avocados from those Costco. look good oh my gosh this look good worth it.
Yes, I went to I went to um uh Superior. I went to Food for Less yesterday and I went to Superior today uh -huh. and they have ugly avocados. Oh, see, no. I even bought mine like days in ahead. Oh, she came prepared. I did. She brought that big old bag <laughs> full of stuff. Why do that... you have to like use your stuff and get it all dirty and stuff? Oh, and that's okay. Cooking. Let me show you guys. Oh, and brownies. Oh, and brownies. So this is what's okay. Look, <laughs> and bottle, and then what's her face brought these. Aaliyah, she brought these oh. strawberries, Bud Light. She says she's already drunk. She says she drank at her house. Oh. I was like, well, you came prepared, didn't you? <laughs> and then we got bottles on bottles and bottles of Stella Rose. <laughs> oh my God, how much more Stella is there? We all know you love Stella, which is why they chose Stella Rose. We lost a tomato. You, you lost that tomato? We lost a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> a baby. Why'd you buy those baby ones? Do you like the flavor? Yeah. They have uh, a mixed melon. Girl, you ain't never had my guacamole, though. One of these days. Let me know. One of these yeah. days. Ask my family. Mini tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomates. Where'd they go? Oh, they went to go find Stephanie. We're missing one. One. Uh, like Target? <laughs> Literally, because they know I live across the street from a Target. <laughs> they went to go find her. Maybe she didn't find parking because there was when I drove back. When I drove back, uh, there was like two or three parking spots left. There no, weren't that many. Was, and then we just pulled into one because I made my husband drive me because I know it'd be drinking. Yeah. So this should be a big one. It's in her big old car. She's got a big car. I don't know what kind of car she but drives. SUV type. Oh, okay. So we'll see. I don't know why they're taking so long. They're probably on an adventure. And my child was supposed to go throw something away. I don't know if you ever came back. Oh god, they're probably out there. And we got the fire going. We're gonna grill some carnita Ooh, to make tacos. You're, even, you're braving the cold. <laughs> the um, California cold. <laughs> the California cold. Like this. In quotes. It smells good. It smells That's good. So good. I love you, girl. Yeah, doing yeah. Doing it right, girl. Doing I'm doing it right. Of course, I can't. I can't make tacos on just a little stove. <laughs> Those are not tacos. Better like, not put no cheddar cheese. <laughs> Look at my face, y'all. Look at my face. No. no, if you have cheddar cheese on your tacos. They are not Mexican tacos. They are not Mexican tacos. They are not Mexican. No she is half Mexican and she knows they are not Mexican tacos. They are not mm -hmm. My dad could have tried to came at me with the cheddar cheese tacos. No, he yes, didn't. in Nevada. We're busy. He's like, oh, there's this great taco spot and it's open. We'll not name names, Nevada people. We'll not name names. <laughs> I'm like, oh, get me a bean tostada and get me one enchilada. I open up. I'm hungry. Get my food. Cheddar cheese on this. Who does that? Taco Bell does that. That's who. I was like, oh no, father. We no. Need to have a conversation about this. And that's that's the Mexican side. Mm -hmm. Come on, papi. Yep. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Papa. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo, and don't forget to subscribe.